it's Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please smash that like button and please do subscribe. I decided to come out for a walk early. Um, early. And uh, avoid the usual shit that I get every afternoon. Derek look alike and he gets up off of the bench. But I've beaten him to it today. <laughs> I'm gonna go home before he sits on the bench. <laughs> Bald headed jogger. Bald headed jogger. Male. They like Melanie Gaydos on Instagram. <laughs> Eight minutes past two, and uh, I haven't got a green raincoat. I know Princess Diana had a green hooded coat that she used to wear, and it's in fashion today. That guy up there has got a green hooded coat, and uh, the owner of Luna. The dog called Lunatic, that's its name, Lunatic, Luna. Um, it's just run over the field towards Max, it's on TikTok, it's on my TikTok channel. And uh, the guy lets his dog run around willy nilly and it jumps on people. It's got red collar on. Um, he's covered his head with a hood. He's got a green coat on, like Princess Diana used to wear. Well, she's obviously dead and can't wear a coat anyway, can she? So we've got two uh, bloke with a furry coat on the bench, and we've got the Derek lookalike with the boxer dog over there. I told you I feel like I'm hunted on the field. Lunatic's just bounded over to Max. And if you go onto my TikTok, you can see how big that dog Luna is up against the tiny Chihuahua. So this guy is not sat on a bench. This is the one that sits on the bench and gets off. So he's not sat down on a bench today. I've come out early, but it doesn't take long for the crap to start. So I've been out 20 minutes, I left about 20 to 2. It doesn't take long for them to start doing their little scenarios to make me feel bad about myself. It doesn't take long. The thing is that that dog called Lunatic knows me. I've seen it from a, from a puppy growing up. It don't mess me about. Not, don't shout at it, don't get cross. Hello Luna. Because I know that's Luna. I haven't been in the co-op today. Is Kim going home with a plastic co-op bag? Charlie fancied Kim and Kim used to blow him kisses out of the co-op window. Uh, that guy with the dog called Lunatic, that dog used to jump all over my back and my legs. <laughs> so 
we can actually walk past this bench in peace. We can walk past this bench in peace because we've come out early. <laughs> This way. Bull's headed jogger coming back down. So this, this is exactly what you do guys, you catch them out at it, you catch them out, you go out a bit earlier or a bit later and uh, that's it really. Dying to the toilet, I'd go up that way, but I'm dying to go to the loo. <laughs> Desperate for the toilet. <laughs> so they can play about with someone else, can't they? It's all done to make you get cross and upset about what you look like, how you look like, and do I care? <laughs> no. <laughs> they think it's a game. They don't think they're upsetting somebody, they think it's funny. very hurtful. <laughs> it's spiteful, it's cruel and it's hurtful. But to them it's a game, it's funny. <laughs> and this is how many bullies end up making the victim feel so bad they kill themselves. Very strong person. I didn't want to come out this afternoon. I'm sick and tired of that crap. I'm sick of it. Black dogs with red collars. The abuse that I'm getting. I'm sick of it. It doesn't. It makes you feel horrible. And they're getting away with it because the police aren't doing a damn thing. It's alright to say call 99 if they like attack you or something happens, but how long does it take for them to come out? <laughs> I've got evidence of everything I've reported and they think I'm lying, do they? I've got evidence of it all. The cars that go on the pavement, the number plates. Flirt finder stalkers. I've got evidence of it all. And in a real police situation, they sit you down, they spend about an hour going through your evidence. 
these are these these ain't real police that are coming up to me. They're dodgy, dodgy geezers. I've just seen a real couple of police go out to people, and what they're actually supposed to do. And they ain't protecting and serving me, that's for sure. And by the way, I've had a email from Kent Police to my pink lady fizz email and they want to know my sexual orientation what's that got to do with stalking the police giving me a form to fill in it's about my sexual orientation fuck off do you know what I mean do your job should be doing their job, not asking me what sex I am. See you later.